Hi there, it's Tara Bianca with Be Light Transformative Therapy, and today I want to talk about blocked noses. What are some of the primary reasons that noses get blocked? Is there a difference between structural versus inflammatory blockages? And what are some of the things that we can do to unblock our noses? You guys know that as an Oxygen Advantage instructor, I'm always emphasizing nasal breathing. If you'd like a clear explanation of why, you can check out this video that I made several months ago about the difference between mouth breathing and nasal breathing. But what if you simply can't breathe through your nose? It can be incredibly frustrating. You know nasal breathing is important, but you just can't get there. Step one is to understand why you can't breathe through your nose and to remove any environmental irritants as much as possible that may be contributing to your symptoms. Here's a list of issues that are often responsible for nasal blockages. Allergies, colds and flus, chronic rhinitis, chronic sinusitis, a deviated septum, hypertrophied turbinates, and a lifetime of dysfunctional breathing. From that list, I think it's pretty obvious to see that there's a difference between a nasal blockage caused by something like a cold and flu that causes temporary inflammation and mucus buildup versus a structural deviation that literally blocks the flow of air. So some nasal blockages might be considered more inflammatory in nature, and that would include your seasonal allergies, your colds and flus, and also your poor breathing habits, while other nasal blockages might be considered structural or mechanical in nature, meaning the bony and or cartilaginous structures within your nasal cavity have been altered in such a way as to literally prevent the flow of air. Just to manage your expectations a little, I want to say that it's definitely going to be easier to treat the inflammatory blockage than it will be to treat the mechanical or structural blockage, only because the mechanical blockage is going to require other treatments besides just breathing exercises. However, when just considering breathing exercises, this exercise that I'm going to show you today is still a primary strategy for both types of nasal blockages. So here we go. I want to show you the nose unblocking exercise that was developed or at least popularized by Patrick McEwen of the Oxygen Advantage. You can find this exercise in his book, The Breathing Cure, which I have a copy of right here, and I'll be sure to link to this in the video description as well. Just a quick note before we begin, this exercise will require a strong breath hold, so it will not be appropriate for pregnant women or anyone with a serious medical condition, which I know is not very specific. So more simply, please only practice this exercise if you are relatively healthy outside of the blocked nasal passage. To do this exercise, I'm going to sit comfortably with my spine aligned. And whenever we practice our breathing exercises, it's always nice to get used to also practicing good oral posture. So sitting here with chin parallel to the floor, lips gently closed, slight bit of space between the teeth, jaw relaxed, and the tip of the tongue making contact with the roof of the mouth right behind the top teeth without actually touching the teeth. Now, a lot of you practicing this exercise are not able to breathe through your noses yet. So setting yourself up with lips closed is going to be a bit of a challenge for you. But just try to set yourselves up as close to proper form as possible, even if you have to keep a slight space between your lips for now. Now, just like every breath hold we do in the Oxygen Advantage, I'm going to take a normal breath in through my nose and a normal breath out through my nose. And if you have to cheat a little bit here because you really can't get any air through your nose at all, it's okay, but again, keep it minimal. And then after I exhale through my nose, I'm gonna pinch my nose, this time with lips shut for sure. Make sure you keep them shut. And I'm gonna hold my breath. And while I'm holding my breath, 
with lips closed and nose pinched, I'm going to move my head in all directions, up and down, right and left, side to side, small circles, whatever feels good for you. So I'm holding my breath after an exhale and I'm moving my head all around. The head movement in part acts as a distraction to the breath hold so that you can hopefully hold your breath a little bit longer than you would if you were just sitting here thinking about nothing but holding your breath. But I also think, and honestly I don't have anything to back this up, but I also think that the movement must play with your natural nasal cycling, meaning the relative congestion or openness of each nostril is very much affected by your body position and your position relative to gravity. So I'm still holding my breath, I'm still pinching my nose, I'm still moving my head all around until I start to experience a strong air hunger. So I'm going to push this breath hold pretty hard. And then when I can't hold my breath any longer, I unpinch my nose and I calmly and quietly breathe in through my nose and breathe out through my nose and resume normal breathing. Now, if your first inhale after the breath hold is a gasp or then you've pushed it a little bit too far. And the next time you do it, just back off a little bit. Don't push the breath hold quite as long. You want the first inhale after your breath hold to be calm and quiet. The idea is to have full control of your breathing as quickly as possible after this stressor exercise of a breath hold. Then see if you feel any expansion through your nasal passage. If you're still feeling congested after doing this one time, wait 60 seconds to allow some time for your blood gases to rebalance, and then try it again. You can do this up to five times in a row, maybe twice a day. I'm going to do it once in real time now without any talking. Why does this work? Well, one idea is that as you're holding your breath, nasal nitric oxide is building up in the nasal cavity, preparing to be inhaled deeply as soon as you end your breath hold and take your next breath in. And as we know, nasal nitric oxide is a powerful bronchodilator, working to open up the nose and the airways. If you're suffering with temporary congestion, or you're just a chronic mouth breather who has lost full function of your nose, this exercise works wonders. If you're struggling with a structural issue like nasal turbinate hypertrophy or a deviated septum, it is going to take more than just this exercise to correct your breathing. However, I would still encourage you to try out this exercise multiple times a day in order to begin regaining full function of your nose and begin opening up your airways. My teacher Patrick always says, if you can breathe through your nose for one minute, you can breathe through your nose for life. So keep at it. If you try this exercise out, please let me know how it goes in the comments below. Likewise, if you have any questions, please leave those below in the comments as well. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel for more great videos like this one. You can also hit that bell icon to be notified every time I release a new video. 
If you're interested in my brand new live online four week breath boot camp, you've got about one day left to register before registration closes. So make sure you head to the link that you see on your screen right now or grab the link in the video description. I also have a totally free breath training called the Breath Basics Six Day Challenge, which you can sign up for right now. I've included the link in the video description as well as on the end screen. I also just launched a private online Be Light community, which will serve as a precursor to the more elaborate and more robust membership site that I'm creating for you guys to be released in 2022. You can grab the link for that as well in the video description. And lastly, if you'd like to support my channel with a one-time donation, you can do so by visiting my Buy Me a Coffee page. I've included that link as well in the video description. And I want to give a huge shout out as well to all my existing sponsors. Thank you guys so much for all your support. That's it for today. I'll see you next time.